Hello there, and welcome to our 1968 Soviet Union campaign in cold waters. Our orders for today are to travel to this area of the Atlantic. Now that Europe is more and more under Soviet control, the fighting is definitely moving into the Atlantic. And we are to move over there and to intercept forces coming in from uh, the southern USA. So that's what we are going to do. Let's pass through the Danish Straits here. Let's hope that nobody... Okay, they are after us. Oh, they definitely are after us. So let's move away from Iceland for now. Let's hope that nobody is following us. I have to be very careful here. Yeah, that's what I thought. The whole area is infested with American forces. But okay, let's slowly move closer. And I think we are now in our patrol. Ho, 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 ho. Patrol area. That was a close one. I didn't want to tangle with those subs. They are still hunting me. I must be a very high priority target at this point. Since I'm sinking so damn much. But okay, I think the pursuers have given up. And we will now move back into our patrol area. And see if we can get ourselves. Oh no. A nice convoy, but look at that, they are moving at us again. Somehow we have been detected. Maybe by aircraft or something like that. Something's happening. Denmark surrenders. That's good. Okay. Let's continue. And if we look at the map, yes, Denmark is now ours. So the only NATO holdouts in Europe are... The Netherlands and Norway here. So once these are conquered, there will really only be Svalbard up here and Iceland. And you know what? If at that point we are not winning this campaign, I will start something else. Because then I will consider this campaign to be won, but definitely broken. Wow, they are hunting me hard this time. I, they are forcing me out of the Atlantic, actually. I am impressed. Okay, there's a big force coming in. Let's engage that. If we can. Mission update. Okay, I guess I failed that mission then. New Navy Special Operation. Okay, we are shifting our focus. Okay, oh, crap. I'm getting a mission to insert forces uh, in Bergen. So I'm to return to Murmansk, pick up some special forces, and then go to Bergen and deploy them there. So let's actually do that. Let's move back to Murmansk as fast as we can. I don't like this kind of mission, I'm telling you. It is always broken in some way or another. Let's see if it will be different this time. Let's quickly rush to port. And there we are. 321 days at war. Okay, we have to get rid of some weapons. Let's see, we still have what's in the tubes. Everything else has been removed from the boat. I think I will replace this one with... Yeah, I'll replace this one with another decoy. That will potentially be far more useful. This. The rest of the loadout is okay, and I still have my vertical launch system with the missiles. Let's leave port and sail to Bergen. Down the coast, this is Soviet controlled. So I think we are safe to go fast here. Recon overflights show that there are no active forces in the vicinity of Bergen. I was slightly mistaken. There's a fleet 
but we slipped past. Okay, our deployment zone is nearby. All hands, man battle stations. Let's uh, go. Okay, we are in the combat area. And this here is the point where we have to deploy the forces. So let's go that way. Local conditions. No layer, unfortunately. So we just have to go in. Stay quiet, hope for the best. Let's go deep. Let's speed up to 10 knots. I think we are safe to do so. Okay, we have a pinging contact south of us. What are you? Almost identified. It's a banner. And I should be a little bit more quiet, otherwise he might be able to hear us. Pinging contact to the north. Sierra 3 in front of us. Sierra 3 will be identified in just a moment. Sierra 3 is biological. No problems there. Sierra 1 will most likely be another banner. Okay. Let's see if we can speed up to 8 knots. That should be fine. So, I'll cut the video here because uh, this will be a long wait until I am in the target zone, so I'll see you then, or if something happens. And there we are, the Spec Ops team is away. We did it. Can we actually leave the area? Yes, we can. So let's just leave the combat area now. Nothing happened, I was not detected, I was able to make good use of the Norwegian fjords to stay really deep. And we have finished another mission objective with a nice picture here, this is looking really nice. Okay, military installations near Bergen in Norway suffered significant damage. I hope that means that um, we will be able to capture Bergen. Let's go back to Mimansk. Yeah. Avoid that fleet, go back to Mimansk and reload our weapons. That's what we'll do first and then we will see what kind of new orders we are receiving. Almost home. Oh, something's happening. Netherlands. The Netherlands have fallen. So Amsterdam is ours now. Only Norway remains on the mainland here. So next we have to get that. 324 days at war. Okay, intelligence has detected the loading of torpedoes and other cargo on supply ships. The supply convoy will go to the US coastal area. Okay, so that's good. Key West. So we are going back into the Atlantic to find and sink a supply convoy. Got it. Okay, we are meant repair. Let's see, I will keep this decoy for now. Everything else will stay as it is. I just need a whole bunch more wakehoming torpedoes. Give me about seven of those for now. Uh, six of those. Hmm. I don't have reloads for the 400 millimeter tubes. Let's take those SCT-40 torpedoes after all. Just, just so that we are using them. I mean, um, the stores have to be used up, right? 
Okay, I think we are good. Cast off and let's go hunt ourselves a convoy. Let's see if we can already spot it on the map while we approach the target area. Soon enough the NATO presence will be civil. Oh, there they are. I guess that's our mission target right there. Let's go through the gap here near Torshaven where the NATO forces have lost their coverage, their Solstice Barrier. And we should be able to intercept the convoy pretty soon if it's still going this way. Yes, it is. Oh, now they're moving away. Okay, so we have to run them down. Where are they? Where are they? There they are, going north. Okay, let's continue after them. Where are they now? There they are, moving south again, back towards Key West. I have to avoid all these other patrols. Okay, go slow again. We're in a dangerous area here. Fresh NATO forces could come in at any moment. Where's the damn convoy? I need a satellite overflight, please. Where are they? Have they moved into... Okay. This is not my target. We have a new sonar contact bearing 172 designated Sierra 1. I'm going at, I'm going at a speed of 20 knots, so... That's bad. Uh, let's... Uh, let's close to 15 if we can. Nothing. Nobody pinging, nobody shooting. Very good. Okay. Let's reduce our speed. We are turning towards 175. And let's start moving in that direction. Contact. Sierra 1. What do we have here? It's a merchant. It's a merchant. Come up to the periscope depth. If it's a NATO merchant, we might be able to sink that thing. Almost there. Okay. Let's deploy the SM mast. And we have a Sierra 2. Okay, Sierra 2 cavitated, so Sierra 2 is actually more important right now. But we will still take a look at Sierra 1. He's at a bearing of 180. Where is Periscope? Night vision. Can we see him? He should be over in this direction. But I doubt we'll be able to see him. There are no radar contacts on the surface. That's good. Merchant is at 179, so moving right to left. There he is. Can I spot the flag? Not in this weather. This is impossible. Down periscope. And let's go after Sierra 2, which is a skipjack directly in front of us, moving at a speed of 20 knots. Okay, go deep, go deep, go deep. We are in his baffles, we have to make use of that. How did I not detect this thing sooner? The local conditions must be... Well, it's not that loud. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's hope that this skipjack is alone. And... Let's speed up the boat. Let's 
let's go deep and let's go after him at full speed. Let us really hope that he's alone. Okay. okay, we're increasing to 26 knots. Hold at this depth. Let's go after him. Let's use some time compression here. And we of course lost the contact. That was fully expected, because, well, we are moving very fast, so we will be deaf. Let's... I was about to say, let's hope that he doesn't turn around. He turned around. He's pinging. Distance to the skipjack was probably at about 8 kilometers. That's quite far for our torpedoes might be too far for his active. Let's get a good idea. Okay, we have his location and he might be able to pick me up on active. We are committed now. He's shooting. Okay, prepare counter fire. One torpedo. Does he have wires there? I don't know. Increase speed to 15 knots. I'm sure he has wires. That's why this torpedo is so important. to 10 knots. That's not close the distance too fast. He's shooting more torpedoes. More torpedoes. Okay, that's why I stayed on this course. Now he's turning. We are turning as well. This will break his wires. Let's go. Actually, go the other way, that's better. Time compression. Just to speed things up a bit, he's recommitting. That means he might be keeping his wires, but my torpedo is now active. That spooked him. This torpedo is not going to find anything though. It is giving me a chance to... Oh, look at that. Active torpedoes. He anticipated this move. Okay, in that case, turn this way. Go silent. Yeah, okay. Good job there. Very good job, Skipjack. But you are messing with the wrong guy. Give me a zigzag pattern on the torpedo. Fire the torpedo down this bearing. He's going at a full speed of 33 knots right now. I believe he will not keep that. Fire torpedo. And let's use some time compression to speed things up. Let's see what will happen. Yes, that's what I anticipated. He changed course. So the torpedo will activate almost directly behind him. Come on, torpedo. God damn you. He's too shallow. The torpedo is too deep. There it is, back there. Okay, that means we are going after him. Increase speed, 26 knots. Come up to 122 meters. Yeah, 
initiate reload. And further the skip check. Okay, we are cavitating at this step, so actually do go deeper. Damn, he's going at the speed of 33 knots. The skip check is so damn fast. But we are now in his baffles. So until the moment where he turns around, he will not know where we are. This is... This is an advantage. We can surprise him with that. So, there he is. He's turning. We will continue to go fast and close the distance on him. Okay, this is now going to be risky. Turn towards him. 3.8 kilometers. He's He has gone deep. Cut the speed. He's still going fast. Do I make the torpedo run straight? Nah, zigzag. Okay. Prepare to fire. Fire torpedo. Let's hope that this torpedo gets him. Let's see what he does. He's slowing down. Doesn't mean much. He's counter-firing. So... This way. Speed up. Wire guidance on his torpedoes. Come on, torpedo. Damn. Once again, torpedo has missed. This damn skipjack is just too damn fast. Let's turn in past his torpedoes. And let's get back on his tail. Three point eight. He's turning back. Okay, we got him here. Two kilometers. That's nothing. Slow down. Start another reload. Torpedo ready. Torpedo. We will launch you in front of the target, of course. Like. So, torpedo is out. This is looking good. This is looking good. Torpedo has acquired the target. We have target acquisition. Load another one. Okay, now we know the skipjack is super capable. And it will, of course, crap out a whole bunch of noisemakers. Let's see what will happen. Okay, he's turning. And now he will deploy a noisemaker, confusing the torpedo. Any moment now. Any moment now. There we go. Wow, he waited until the very last moment with this. I don't know if this is brave or stupid. But here goes the torpedo and it's turning left, which in this case is not too bad. Okay, at this point we just have to keep the skipjack under pressure and make him expand all his countermeasures. Torpedo is turning back towards it and he did not dive. So the torpedo is now in front of it and he has no depth to play with but he has a noisemaker. Okay, so far he's doing well. He's doing very well in fact. But now the torpedo should be back on him. Yeah, new noisemaker. He is doing supremely well. I'll tell you what, let's load one of these 400mm torpedoes. He will stay in this area and I will fire a torpedo just into this area to keep him occupied. To keep him under pressure. 
Because sooner or later this torpedo here will run out of steam and I doubt that it will be able to hit the uh, skipjack as long as he's deploying so many countermeasures. You can see how he saturated the area. One, two, three. He's cavitating. Okay. New noise makeup. And it has sucked up the torpedo. Okay. This torpedo will go in a circle. Is he running now? Let's hope not. But he has a chance here. Yeah, the torpedo's turning the wrong way. Well, that's not surprising. Damn it. Okay, at this point I have to ask myself, do I want to fight a skipjack with um, these two torpedoes remaining? And I think I don't. I think I don't. So here's what we'll do. 400mm torpedo out against the skipjack in, well, more or less the general direction. We are speeding up and we are going the other way. Yeah. That was an explosion in the distance. I guess that was my first torpedo. No, that was one of his. Okay. He's just too damn fast for us to fight that. It's, it's not really possible. He is way superior to our submarine. And we are running low on torpedoes. At this point I do not have the confidence that two torpedoes will be enough to run him out of um, noisemakers and to sink him. So I'm aborting this engagement. We are being smart. And we are just going. Going away. He is following for the moment. Let's turn around. And go the other way. Is he re-engaging? Yes, of course he is. Turn. That's enough. We'll use another 400mm torpedo. Contact bearing 173. We'll shoot the torpedo down that bearing. 173. There we go. Keep him occupied, keep him busy while we run. Load the noisemaker. Noisemaker will be fired next if this doesn't work. The 400mm torpedoes are good for such a thing, just to um, distract the enemy. They're really good to do that. Okay, let's get out of here. Getting away from this thing won't be easy though. He's actually shooting at me. He's shooting after me. However, I do not believe that his torpedoes can go fast enough to catch up to my submarine. He has the Mark 37 torpedo with a speed of 26 knots when it's in um, active mode. So I'm outrunning his torpedoes, no problem. Well, nice to know that we have um, a similar problem. His torpedoes can't really get me and my torpedoes can't really get him. So going our separate ways is really the best option here. The thing about the skipjack is he can run me down. He can go at an incredible speed of 33 knots. So I am not safe from that thing. If he wants, he can engage and keep engaging. While I, at the same time, am running a bit low on options. But we will see. For now, let's just run. He stopped pinging, by the way. Let's see if we can get away. We can. Okay. 
We escaped. Let's leave the combat. And... Let's resume our hunt for the uh, convoy. Wherever it is. But we will find out next week. For now, thank you very much for watching. This was an unusual episode. We didn't get to sink anything. Oh my god. But we did two missions and, well, Europe is ours. Only Norway remains. We'll see how this continues. Have some great days and goodbye.